it's just really hard to grow up in a world full of ifs. You know, I don't think a lot of people in Congress understand the conversations that are happening in everyday American high schools, but we're constantly asked, prepare for your future, study for your future, do this for your future. Um, but our, our world is full of ifs. I'll be talking to my best friend and she'll be like, yeah, you know, I really want to see this natural place sometime if it's going to still be around. Um, I really want to study to be this if that's still going to be a possibility. And it's just like this constant looming uncertainty. And it's this weird form of of nihilism and and weird um, just fear that's that's been existing in my generation where kids are joking like what is even like the point the the world is is ending what are we studying for what are we doing um, and it's this kind of depression it's this fear that is not just among me or my panelists here but but everyone and that anxiety is something that no child should ever have to fear because if you think about it if you go back to what is the purpose of a parent um, down to just the biological um, purpose. It's to, to give their child the best future and the best life that they can possibly have. And the, Amer the, the supposed American dream is to make sure that children have a better future than the adults. But right now, it's like some members of government and some corporations are actively pointing a gun to children's futures and actively making it worse, actively going out of their way to support corporations and poison us and destroy our future. And that is horrifying and it feels like a betrayal. It's like a knife to the heart to know that people who have kids, they'll go around in these campaign ads and they'll be like holding these babies like, oh, you should vote for me. Look at me interacting with a small child while they actively poison and choose their wallets over their children. So it's, it's very devastating and scary, but it's also it feels like we've been betrayed.